Lesson 1. Adopt a growth mindset. One of the key lessons from the book is to adopt a growth mindset, which focuses on learning, development, and improvement. The author shares a story of his own experience with a fixed mindset when he was younger. He believed that he was not good at math, and no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't improve. However, he later realized that this was a limiting belief, and he started to approach math with a growth mindset. He started to study harder, practice more, and seek help when he needed it. As a result, he eventually became good at math. Lesson 1. Adopt a growth mindset. One of the key lessons from the book is to adopt a growth mindset, which focuses on learning, development, and improvement. The author shares a story of his own experience with a fixed mindset when he was younger. He believed that he was not good at math, and no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't improve. However, he later realized that this was a limiting belief, and he started to approach math with a growth mindset. He started to study harder, practice more, and seek help when he needed it. As a result, he eventually became good at math. Lesson 2. Embrace positivity. The power of positive thinking is another key lesson from the book. The author suggests that we should focus on the positive aspects of life and avoid negative self-talk. He shares a story of a young man who was struggling to find a job. Despite his best efforts, he kept getting rejected. However, he refused to give up and kept a positive attitude. He continued to apply for jobs, and eventually, he landed his dream job. Lesson 3. Practice self-discipline. Success and achievement require discipline, dedication, and hard work. The author emphasizes the importance of developing self-discipline and the ability to delay gratification. He shares a story of a young athlete who had to wake up early every morning to train for her sport. It was challenging, but she knew that discipline was the key to success. Eventually, she became a world champion in her sport. Lesson 4. Set clear goals. Clear goals help you focus your efforts and stay motivated. The author suggests setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, goals to achieve success. He shares a story of a young entrepreneur who started a business with a clear goal in mind. He wanted to provide healthy food options for people who were always on the go. He worked hard to achieve his goal, and eventually, his business became a success. Lesson 5. Be mindful. Mindfulness practices, such as meditation, can help you cultivate awareness, reduce stress, and improve your overall well-being. The author encourages readers to practice mindfulness regularly. He shares a story of a busy executive who started to practice mindfulness during his lunch break. It helped him to reduce stress and stay focused throughout the day. Lesson 6. Cultivate Gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool for happiness and well-being. The author recommends practicing gratitude regularly by keeping a gratitude journal or reflecting on the positive aspects of life. He shares a story of a young woman who was going through a difficult time in her life. However, she started to practice gratitude every day by writing down three things she was thankful for. This practice helped her to shift her focus to the positive aspects of her life, and she eventually overcame her challenges. Lesson 7. Build Positive Relationships Positive relationships are key to happiness and success. The author stresses the importance of building positive relationships with family, friends, and colleagues. He shares a story of a young man who was struggling to build relationships at work. However, he realized that he was focusing too much on himself and not enough on others. He started to reach out to his colleagues, ask them about their interests, and show genuine interest in their lives. As a result, he was able to build positive relationships with his colleagues, which helped him to thrive at work. Lesson 8. Take care of your physical health. Your physical health is crucial for your mental and emotional well-being. The author encourages readers to prioritize their physical health by exercising regularly, eating a healthy diet, and getting enough sleep. He shares a story of a woman who was struggling with depression. However, she started to prioritize her physical health by going for daily walks, eating healthy food, and getting enough sleep. These changes helped her to improve her mental health and overcome her depression. Lesson 9. Learn from failures. Failure is an inevitable part of life, but it can also be a valuable learning experience. The author suggests that we should embrace failure and use it as an opportunity to learn and grow. He shares a story of a young entrepreneur who started a business that eventually failed. However, he didn't give up. Instead, he learned from his mistakes and started a new business that became a success. Lesson 10. Serve others. Serving others is one of the most fulfilling and meaningful things you can do in life. The author encourages readers to look for ways to serve others, whether it's through volunteering, donating to charity, or simply helping a neighbor. 
he shares a story of a man who started volunteering at a local soup kitchen. He didn't have much, but he realized that he could make a difference in someone else's life by serving them a hot meal. This experience inspired him to continue volunteering and serving others throughout his life. And there you have it, the top 10 lessons from Energize Your Mind. We hope that you found these stories and insights helpful and inspiring. Remember, success and happiness are within your reach, but it takes dedication, discipline, and a positive mindset to achieve them. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until then never stop learning. Also I will be back tomorrow with some more lessons that would make your life much easier from such inspiring books. Thanks for listening to us.